All right, y'all. Welcome back to the show. I'm Scott Horton. It's my show, Scott Horton Show. Oh, man, that's good. Um, all right. Joining me on the phone is Darren Marion, the uh, founder and operator of Darren's Coffee Company. That's Darren's Coffee dot com two r's in darren's i tried it with one r it didn't work anyway welcome back to the show how are you doing darren i'm doing real good man i'm real good uh good good Thanks happy for... to have you here you got to double check your uh, url forwarding there man we got to get uh, all different spellings of darren's to work there yeah as soon as, yeah, as, soon as you said that i was like oh man yeah <laughs> it smells so good all right so okay, the deal cool. is i'm a folgers guy man because i'm a bum you know i gotta drink coffee but it ain't any good sometimes mcdonald's you know if the wife goes and uh it's McDonald's. Anyway, uh, but then you sent me these bags of coffee. And I went out and bought a grinder because I lost mine somewhere in a move at, at one point. But uh, so I'm drinking the house blend now. I have not yet gotten to the Iron Roast and the uh, Ethiopia. But I am sitting here smelling the bags of the uh, Iron Roast and Ethiopia now. And they smell really, really good. Uh, so... Tell me, Darren, about uh, how you got in the coffee business. Uh, I hated what I did for a living, uh, and I wanted to do something completely different, man. So I always thought about kind of what made people smile. Uh, I wanted to do something that made people smile. And, and when I look back to what a happy time in my life, it would be every Saturday morning when my grandfather would have everybody over, and uh, he'd make everybody coffee, bacon, eggs, toast, and... Um, us kids would have our uh, our sugar and milk and, and a little bit of coffee taste. So I'm figuring no matter what, if people, uh, even if they don't like the taste of coffee, they usually like the smell of coffee. They have some kind of fine memory or fond memory mm-hmm. around it. So that's, that's what I want. That's got me into it. That's good, man. And uh, and how long ago was that? And how's business going? Uh, man, it was back in 2010. I went out and I uh, was working for Starbucks. People started, uh, I was a coffee master, and I was like, I wanted to taste everything, and that was part of the process, knowing what coffee tasted like, and I usually noticed that it started to all taste the same, and I wanted to see kind of what, what you know, if I could do it myself. So, went out and took a cast iron skillet and a whisk, and sent my wife out of the house, came back, the house was smoky, but um, we came back in, and it was like, she tasted it, and was like, what is this, and I like his fresh. This is freshly roasted coffee, and it tasted like a like a wild fruit punch. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Then I started to taste, you know, take it into work and have people taste it. Eventually, a guy gave me some money for it, and then I went out and got some bootleg, uh, <laughs> some bootleg cars. You know, just basic Vista print cars. You know, it was like, hey, this is my, this is Darren's coffee. So it was back in 2010. That's cool, man. It sounds like uh, some fake American dream story, only uh, in real life, huh? <laughs> Yeah, there you go, man. Got it. That's cool. And so, and now you're out of uh, Indiana. Where in Indiana again? Uh, just north of Indianapolis in Zionsville, Indiana. Uh-huh. So it actually was rated the place of lowest crime uh, in the state of Indiana. Oh, so that's the nice. city in Indiana. Cool. All right. <laughs> Well, hey, man, so listen, i got to tell you that, first of all, I really like the coffee. I really do. I'm not just saying that because you're bribing me to say that. It's really great, and I really appreciate you sending me at least this sample. I hope I can get on the flow, you know, like a skateboard or sponsored am or something, you know. uh, Yeah. Get some more coffee to drink around here. Um, But thank you very much for the coffee. Thank you very much for supporting the show. Um, And I do hope that this will, you know, help nudge those sales up a little bit more and get people – uh, involved in it, and now, and there's a deal, right? If they're fans right. of the show and they use promo code Scott, then what? It's free shipping. Free shipping. Now, how much is shipping on a couple of bags of coffee? Uh, anyway? Normally, normally, I, just, I normally I would charge a fixed rate, a flat rate of six twenty five, mm-hmm. which is still, oh, so you know, would, yeah, that's good. So the deal before yeah. was save two bucks, and you're telling yeah. me that basically minimum the shipping was six bucks anyway for just a yeah, bag. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, you know, let's. Let's see what we can do to make something a little, a little more fair. Yeah, yeah, that's so. that's way better than the two bucks off that we're offering. In the I got to recut a, a new commercial for you there. Sorry. Cool, but, man. Uh, but yeah, man. So uh, so that's really cool. I'm I'm first of all I'm really glad for uh, the fact that you're so successful at this. I like hearing just stories like that of people figuring out 
uh, what they want to do and how to do it, you know, and yeah. actually getting the work done. I sort of feel yeah. uh, like that's what I'm missing around here. But but anyway, uh, but yeah, that's great. And I do hope that people just go to my website, scotthorton.org. Of course, you'll find the logo for Darren's Coffee right there on the right-hand side of the page. And uh, and now what all different kinds of coffee you got? A bunch? What You got about a minute and a half still to talk? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got um got like four or five different blends. I, I, all in all, I carry 42 different coffees, but I don't keep them all listed on my site because that kind of overwhelms people. And for some odd reason, they don't like choice. So I... <laughs> I uh, I limit I kind of limit to my blends out there and my blends they're really really good. Um, I deal only in specialty grade coffee, which is top two percent of coffee in the world. Um, so it's all literally it's graded excellent uh, by the Specialty Coffee Association of America. So cool. I didn't yeah. even know there was one, but I guess I'm not surprised. There you go, man. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I admit I'm not some yuppie, and I'm not uh, not saying you are, but I'm just saying I don't have a, a background in being judgmental about different coffee flavors other than I really don't like that French roasty stuff. I don't like no cream in my coffee, you know, I just a little sugar kind of yeah. thing. But uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I don't like nothing uh, in terms of, like, wild uh, flavored with berries and whatever crap like somebody's mom drinks, but as far as, you know, different kinds of black coffee... Uh, I don't yeah. really know, but I do know I like this a hell of a lot better than the Folgers I've been drinking out of a can, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm sure you do, man. It's great. And and look, I mean, with the free shipping and everything, it all works out, right? So Yeah, yeah, man. It does, man. Yeah. It all so, works out. This is, uh, this is a smart way for people to get coffee. You know what you ought to do, too? You ought to sell it on Amazon.com. Yeah. Working on that now, man. Yeah, there you go. And then, <laughs> and then people can buy Darren's Coffee and Amazon.com through scotthorton.org or all at the same time, and everybody gets a kickback, and we're all rich. And keep doing Boom, anti-government like idea, radio man. shows. And waking <laughs> up in the morning. I mean, honestly, I'm just no good in the morning at all without coffee. I need it. Uh, it's not just a matter of taste, although it's that, too. <laughs> but uh, I'm like one of them alcoholics only for coffee, Darren. And, well, okay. <laughs> I'm relying on you to keep me caffeinated. Well, that's the job, man. That can most trade a commodity in the world. Yep. Uh, yeah. Right, uh, well, pretty close anyway. I guess we'll see once they get uh, to more legalize the weed here. But yeah. All right. <laughs> there you go. Well, right. thanks. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, thanks for tolerating me. Uh, you know, rambling on as I do, and uh, and thanks for supporting the show, and and thanks for bringing such great coffee, Darren. Appreciate it. All right, on, man. All right, y'all. That's Darren Marion. He's at darrenscoffee.com. Two R's, although I'm sure he's going to fix the redirect there real fast. Two R's, but uh, darrenscoffee.com for Darren's Coffee Company.